Hi, Taurus. Um, this is your weekly tarot card reading for Born Without Boundaries. Uh, it is for Taurus Sun Moon Rising. Um, please check out your Sun Moon and your Rising sign. And uh, definitely check uh, my second astrology channel, Astrology Motivation, out as well. There's always an extended video that I hope that you'll get to enjoy as well, um, or that you'll choose to enjoy as well. And um, check me out over on Instagram, at born underscore without underscore boundaries. Because um, I go live daily, or Monday through Friday daily, uh, and I'd love for you to join in the conversation. Taurus, let's get to your reading. I usually don't start with these, but I gotta go with what I'm called to. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Tiger's eye, self-confidence through God confidence, which means this is a week that you're gonna have to have a lot of faith. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. This is a reminder, Taurus, that maybe you feel a little bit disconnected right now or you feel like you're having a, just a hard time, basically, sorry about that, settling in faith um, or having faith. Um, you could very much feel um, just like giving up. Um, and, you know, that, that makes sense. And you know what's interesting? Sometimes when you feel like just giving up, you should just give up because that's when you clear room for God to come in and, and do his, his, her, however you define God, work. So it's really essential right now to understand that you're not alone and that you are connected. Um, tiger's eye is a stone. It's very easy to spot. It's brown with a streak of yellow. It's got a shine on it. Normally, just Google it. Um, and it's easy to find in crystal shops or even ordering it online. But I'm recommending it to you right now because you may, you may need some protection. You may need some defense. Tiger's eye is also a defensive stone. In other words, whatever you need to see, you're not going to be able to see it. You're going to need a higher perspective on this to help you out. And then you just have to give it over to God and, and accept the help. So, or allow the help to come in. So that's going to take a lot of faith. And I know that faith isn't easy right now. Trust me. Taurus. I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to continue on later on in this reading. I'm going to split the reading up into career, love, and money, and we'll do mini readings for each of those. Um, we have the Ace of Wands here, so you're supposed to make a new start. There's something new coming into your life, something something brand new. Um, it could be pregnancy. It doesn't have to be. It could be a new job. could be a new idea. Usually it's something creative with the Ace of Wands on the table. Maybe it's that you have been thinking of starting something else or focusing on something else. And that's where your frustration is coming from. Your fascination with whatever you've been doing is waning. And then we have the sun card. Yeah, with the, wow. So this is Leo. This is still Leo season. Um, this is a sense of rejuvenation, revitalization, um, feeling more closely it's, it's almost like you've been extremely happy and that's why the extreme disappointments are coming. Um, everything can't always be up and sunshiny, right? This is slightly in the past, but maybe there's not extreme disappointments because this does seem to be like there's a new offer or opportunity or a new sense of yourself trusting your own creativity or a statement of trust your creativity or you're dealing with a Leo who's just starting their lives over. Um, Something new could be a new romance with Leo energy, too. We'll get into that a little bit later. Leo, 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 Leo. We have, um, the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Wands. Okay, so with the good work that you have been generating, people want you. 
they're looking for you and they're reaching out. Believe in yourself by believing in God working through you. So ultimately what the cards are saying to me is, hey, Taurus, you're actually not having a problem. You're actually finding the good end of the, op like you're on the opposite end of the spectrum. People are reaching out to you. They want you. Somebody desires you, especially in terms of work, or it could be somebody desiring you at work, which is literal. Um, but there's just this sense of you have a lot of confidence and self-esteem in what you're doing, and that's showing. And this is an energy of people actually showing a lot of appreciation for you now Taurus this is a time when there's a lot of earth energy floating around in the air in the cosmos even if it's not a Virgo season yet but essentially there's just this sense of reliability about you that people desire they they want um, plus it's also they're recognizing how valuable you are um, yeah they're seeing your great work and maybe that's why there's new opportunities and it could be revitalizing your sense of um, passion, your sense of um, passion in yourself, your sense of belief in yourself, your sense of faith in yourself. Um, and this is all in connection to being like connected to the higher power and like, see, I believed it and it happened and I just have to keep believing in it. It's your it's your confidence and your connection, your continuity really, and your tenacity that is what's shining right now. I wanna pull one of these cards. Taurus, 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 lots of them, okay. I'm sorry about that little glips, little glitch. Um, so let's get into these cards. Uh, spring. So there is, uh, you know what? Stop. First we have good fortune. So, <laughs> all right. Good fortune, which um, speaks for itself. And then we have unconditional love. So there's a wholeness about you. This is also a sense of good fortune in love. There is also a sense of... Um, maybe fortune being attached to some sort of partnership or connection that's been a theme in a lot of the videos today not to say that you're marrying rich but to say that it's through partnership that your abundance is coming through there's an abundance of love here and a great deal of good fortune in terms of what you're putting your focus on which means your focus is on family it's on relationships it's on it's on love instead of gain or finances and maybe that is what has liberated you in some way from feeling so much pressure and you can walk into every situation with confidence which is making you stand out positive future a positive future starts today so there is a decision that you've made um, of what kind of future you want to live in and that future you realize is going to be determined by the actions you take now and the actions you take now are going to be leading or this is basically longevity in this good fortune inner conflict so seeing different aspects of yourself that you would rather not see those bits and pieces of yourself that you would rather not see it's almost like you're giving them a chance and especially with this unconditional love card on the table there's a sense of realizing different aspects of yourself and celebrating those aspects of yourself instead of um being ashamed of them or wishing for some reason that they go away uh, it, it could be that you're finding that there are these different aspects of yourself that you used to kind of disregard and now ooh, I don't want to flash you guys I'm sorry about that <laughs> I'm just sorry I don't want to flash you guys um you um it's like it's like you're 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 finding different aspects of yourself um that you are it's like they're just awakening and you're finding these different kind of talents I want to say coming out um you're connecting to those aspects of yourself that you didn't give enough attention to. Or there's somebody or people that you're connecting to that you didn't even give the time of day before. Um, it's almost like you're starting to see value in different things once you start putting a fo the focus on different things. And those different things are specifically love, connection, loyalty, uh, humanity. All of those things are taking on um, bigger roles in your mindset right now. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Now this could also mean 
and we'll get into this when I go into love, there are connections that are going to last quite some time. This is this is longevity here. King of Chalices, are you dealing with a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer? Because this is somebody who, even though they hold back their feelings and they're not necessarily overt, like just upfront about they're not necessarily overly emotional. Sometimes they hold back their emotions, but this is definitely feelings for somebody or you've been having feelings for somebody that you haven't wanted to share, but the feelings are there and this is a very caring individual. Okay. There's all these sirens going off. Taurus. 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 So there's some heartbreak here. You were disappointed because you thought they didn't love you or they didn't care about you or that they didn't appreciate you. Because this person is kind of stone-faced about certain things. They don't give a lot of, they're, they're just not, they don't, they're very affectionate once you get into their lives. But up front, they're not really that affectionate. We have the strength card. It's like, be strong through this perceived heartbreak because it's not as bad as you think it is. This could be also somebody who loves you a great deal and who is overtly loving to you, say a father figure that is helping you through this time, just being around them helps you through this because ultimately there is some sort of heartbreak or disappointment that's going on in your life, but this person's love is unconditional. This is somebody who um, will stand by you through thick and thin and tells you often how much they care about you and how much they love you. If this is a father figure, mother figure, or parental figure, it's almost like, it's kind of like you, you need to maybe be in a cocoon for a second because there is some fucking heartbreak on the table. It's almost like maybe you're struggling with the, the baser aspects of yourself, trying to get them under wraps because it's like you have this, you're breaking your heart before you're sure it's supposed to be broken. And I'm not sure that it's supposed to be broken. I can't confirm that with what I see on the table. You know, a, uh, the King of Cups upright is a very loving individual. Taurus. 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 Shaman, trust in the higher forces. Once again, that's saying about have faith. So what what is what is telling me is you're struggling with the tangible because Taurus, you like tangible. You're the fixed sign of the earth signs. You like what's tangible. You want to hold it. You want to see it. You want to be able to measure it. But what you're being asked in this energy is just have faith. You're not going to be able to see it right now. Like I said with the king of chalices, they do love you or you are appreciated and your value is recognized, but it's almost like in some ways it's not overt yet or it, it, it hasn't been validated yet. So this, the frustration is there again, but ultimately is trust in the higher forces, trust in, trust in God, trust in faith, trust that, you know, there's something else going on that even if you can't see it, harness mystical powers. So harness your energy in your intuition. Harness your energy in your psychic abilities. Start honing in that skill set through trust and through faith. These are both spiritual cards. So spirituality is kind of keeping you together or pulling you together right now. And it's some weird way. It's almost like you're the one that's trying to pull yourself apart. Um, we have the sun card. Again, enjoy success and happiness. What is going on? There's a, there's this, the second sun card. There's a shit ton of success and happiness on the table for you, but in some ways you don't completely feel it yet or perceive it or know it. Um, your guardian angel, you are not alone. And drum, dream and journey. You're not alone in the pursuit of your dreams and goals. You're not. Hold on. I'm wondering why, and maybe this is getting in my way, but Taurus, I'm wondering why there's such a need to focus on the not or the don't have. Like, I'm wondering why, because I, 
listen, maybe at the, at the worst case scenario, what you need is to throw some glass plates around and freak the fuck out because there is such abundance in front of you. What is it that you're desiring that you don't have? What is it you're desiring that you don't have? What is it you're desiring that you don't have? Clarity on something. You don't have clarity and it's making you feel like shit. The King of Swords is here. You could be waiting for a judgment to come down or somebody to make a decision, an authority figure to make a decision, or you're trying to make a decision about something and it's, uh, uh, what is this decision? What is this decision? Oh, the tangled web we weave. What is this decision, Taurus? What is this decision? Yeah, it's once again, it's somebody who's stone-faced. It's somebody who you can't really read and it's bugging them. Um, the five of cups is a disappointment. There is something that you lost in the past. And even though you know, you realize you do have something, there was a, there was a loss that now you don't trust and the gains have not come back completely. Maybe it's just been little bitty steps or little progress. There are opportunities coming in for you, I, but there, there are also competitions for those opportunities. And maybe this is a sense of you really not believing completely in yourself as much as you should, because it seems like, but bottom line is, there is, there is tension here. There is some sort of competition or, or bullshit being thrown at you, maybe a lot of red fucking tape. And that's why it's like all the conflict is wearing you down where it's wearing you down. All the conflict is wearing you down. So what the fuck to do with about it? Let's get into career. What is, should Taurus do with this energy? Keep your mouth shut. Keep silent. Keep observant. And also use your intuition. And what your intuition is telling you, Taurus, is absolutely correct when it comes to your career. This is also just an energy of you already know. You already can tell what's going on. You can already tell. And then this is, yeah, somebody who kind of manipulated the passions, a sleazy, oily dick. Somebody who was not as attractive as he kind of said he was. And it's in some, like, like yeah, it's, it's usually a master manipulator, like a Rico Suave, but you know, like they're a player. They don't, they don't come back around the next day. And maybe you've been bottling this up inside, but this is all about career. So somebody could have made you an offer or they were just, but they were just trying to expect something on the back end. And it's trying to, so they're trying to keep it secret. They're trying to be secret about it. And if you're tr keeping their secret, this is why you're starting to hate yourself. Um... So this is, you got to let it go. It's, uh, understand that this is a shit situation and it's causing you to stay up at night. It is what it really is. In other words, it's really that bad and somebody has fucked with you. You understand that intuitively. You know that. You're working with a goddamn devil and they offered you something in terms of your career for a not so straightforward reason. Right? There, there was some sort of using, manipulation. Maybe they wanted, they wanted you, they wanted to fuck you, or they're expecting something more to come from your situation with your career. Uh, we'll get further. We're going to get deeper into that. We're going to get deeper into all of this over in the extended. Let's go into love, love and romance for Taurus. What's going on with love and romance? What's going on with love and romance? What's going to go on with love and romance with Taurus? With, with, well, with love. Let's just say with love. Um, there's letters being written to you or there's secret desires, not secret desires, but there's a new love prospects here. Something that's just dawning, um, romantic romance. Um, um, somebody, so there's somebody telling you that they love you. There's somebody telling you how much they care about you. You're being presented with this love overtly, maybe through letters, maybe through messages or just how somebody talks to you. It could be a Scorpio. Or it could be a sense of it's helping you stay alive, helping helping you feel alive. This is Scorpio energy. Maybe you're giving somebody a second chance or somebody wants a second chance after things had ended between the two of you. And then we have the Hermit card. So it could be a Virgo. It could be a Scorpio. Um, these are both very hard-headed energies, but no one has a harder head than a Taurus. So essentially, this is like a love that wants to come to be, but it's not sure. It's not certain. You're not really sure if you trust this person completely um, 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 and in some ways you're choosing to sort of like back away and spend some time away the hermit is definite 
Um, there's a sense of there. Scorpio says there was a dead stop into this relationship, but because somebody wanted to be alone or somebody needed to be alone, maybe somebody needed to do work on themselves. And ultimately, now there seems to be a little bit of romance starting to come back. Okay, <laughs> that's how Taurus with money. What's going on with Taurus is a money. Um, it's a whole new world. I think that you're having a lot more prosperity than you used to. Maybe finally seeing some, some sort of financial breakthroughs in terms of being able to take directions. Um, okay, hold on. Man, more money, more problems. It's like the more money you make, you used to dream that it would be so good. But this is about making decisions. She's, she's able to make decisions and move forward with some plans, maybe things that you've looked forward to since you were a kid. This could also be a sense of... This could also be a sense of finally breaking through on the other side. Like none, none of this is, but there's a lot of extra burdens that come with having these this, these finances or more financial responsibilities. Um, definitely the world card says that your finances have changed. You've shifted to a different phase of life in terms of finances. And the queen of wands says you're very structured. You're very... Um, you're you're very intelligent with how you're dealing with this but you're also yeah you're very intelligent with how you're dealing about these and your standards are very high and you're being objective when it comes to these finances i think you're trying to like not let yourself stop the, the six of chalices is though it's 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 longing for something what are you longing for oh you wanted this level of income or you wanted something to do with your finances for a really long time. Um, but you're inevitably, it's, it's actually made you take on a lot more responsibilities than you want to handle. So it's like, yeah, you want the increased income, but simultaneously, can you handle the increased work? If it's for a short period of time, sure. I feel like the Ten of Wands is also suggesting that you may not be feeling this burden for much longer because there's a completion about to end, a lot of responsibility. There's some sort of uh, looking back into the past, reminiscing. The Six of Cups could just be also a, a newfound appreciation for the financial situation. Let's go deeper into these energies. Follow me over to Vimeo. The link is below. I hope to see you guys over there. Bye, Taurus.